Lynn will read the obituary of the dearly departed. Today we mourn the passing of a beloved old friend, Common Sense, who has been with us for many years. No one knows for sure how old he was, since his birth records were long ago lost in bureaucratic red tape. He will be remembered as having cultivated such valuable lessons as knowing when to come out of the rain, why the early bird gets the worm, life isn't always fair, and maybe it was my fault. Common sense lived by simple, sound financial policy. Don't spend more than you can earn. And reliable strategies. Adults, not children, are in charge. His health became to deteriorate rapidly when well-intentioned but overbearing regulations were set in place. Reports of a six-year-old boy charged with sexual harassment for kissing a classmate, teens suspended from school for using mouthwash after lunch, and a teacher fired for reprimanding an unruly student only worsened his condition. Common sense lost the will to live as the churches became businesses and criminals received better treatment than their victims. Common sense took a beating when you couldn't defend yourself from a burglar in your own home, and the burglar could sue you for assault. Common sense finally gave up the will to live after a woman failed to realize that a steaming cup of coffee was hot. She spilled a little on her lap and was promptly awarded a huge settlement. Common sense was preceded in death by his parents truth and trust, by his wife, discretion, by his daughter, responsibility, and by his son, reason. He is survived by his five stepchildren. I know my rights. I want it now. Someone else is to blame. I'm a victim and pay me for doing nothing. Not many attended his funeral because so few realized he was gone.